guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of 227, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Are they literally just going to show the same thing that happened at the end of episode 6? Yeah. I know, what the fuck it be, because still, like, what in the absolute fuck does this mean? Like, we know the mission or whatever's gonna happen has to deal with her, but it's still weird how they all get knocked out, and then she's the only one who's still awake. Okay. <laughs> Food poisoning. Yeah, but are you sure that she can fill it just by herself, though? I I'm guessing so, because look at her with this. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, Toto has that cheerfulness, but I don't know. Right. We've never seen her sad or depressed or anything. A heart. Origami heart? Five years. She's choking.
Mm, okay. But you had to. I mean, you, you, June, you're fine now, but just seeing this like this, my God. God, I remember those days. June. So are you doing all the other girls' signatures as well? I mean, isn't that a little bit of, um, that's bad, right? I mean, she shouldn't be signing the other girls. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. She's hungry. June, you are not going to be able to do all that shit by yourself. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Come here. Here you go, baby. It seems like you is eventually going to be her very first real friend, besides all the other girls. <laughs> Don't lay on my clothes, puppy. You're not dumb, Junior. You're just different. That's an interesting comparison, though, you. Oh, oh!
Yeah, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please let Icona be the next one to be focused on. That had to be tiring. <laughs> yeah, can she eat now, please? Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah, my first only real friend. Can she eat again, please? Uh -huh. Another signing? It's the bandage on her finger. Does she always have this? This episode one. Mm. 
Nej. Just again, you must have got out of the hospital. Or at least June's getting out of the hospital. Mm. Cause she's gotten worse. Almost in a way, you knew she was going to die. June. And that's why she's kept it all this time. That's what it was. That was Yu's final wish for her to make a full recovery in exchange for her life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously? Oh 
Well, thanks to you. <laughs> it, it's a long story. <laughs> Oh. All the flowers. Oh. That was so fucking sweet. Oh my god, this might have put June in best girl territory. I mean, Jesus Christ. I was not expecting this episode. Like, every single episode has had, like, a darkened or a sad moment. But this, this episode was hella sad. I was not expecting any of this to happen to her, especially to someone. June had never really truly had a friend until she met you and you was not only her friend but her guardian angel someone to watch over and look over for for her last several weeks not even weeks maybe months of life and in the back of my mind like way before the fact is that we found out that she died i kind of figured it was gonna happen because it usually does especially when it's two girls or two boys or whatever in a movie and a tv show it usually always happens but I was, like, praying that she would have gotten discharged as well. But in the end, it was two. And only one was going to only be able to get discharged. And it was June. So it, it is basically exactly what I said. She asked God for June to have a full life in exchange for hers. It's sad, but it's still sweet. It's a good episode. A damn good episode. I, you almost made me tear up, like Jesus. But oh, so good. Hold a solo life for three thousand people. So then, Akane, my okay, Akane or somebody else is next because I know it's Akane. Um, the other girl, no, not the other girl who looks like June. Mm, yes or no? Because I think she had her twin already. There's only, and Nicole has to do, I think Nicole's going to be like the very last girl who's going to get her shine. Maybe Nicole could be next, but I feel like it's going to be somebody. Like, uh, so who we least expected to be. But I mean, yeah, this was a damn good episode. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, the emotional roller coaster that you feel watching it from beginning to end and seeing these two little girls meet. And how at first she really didn't like her, but you know, by the time, way before she passed, she she had a friend. That was her first official real friend. And she's still with her, watching over her till this day. And it's just, she has more friends now. And she's happy. And she's able to live a long, happy, youthful life because of you. And that is just one of the sweet things about literally anything. It, it gave me kind of um, Tiffio's vibes with it. Because Tiffio's in another movie that is somewhat similar to Tiffio's. I just don't remember it where it's two people who are sick. And I think one of them also dies in, in it. I've never truly seen it. But I've seen like trailers and TV spots of it when at the time when it was coming out in theaters. And when it even came out on DVD and Blu-ray. But 
yeah, never had the time to really sit down and watch it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of 227. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.